Hi, my name is Frank White and welcome to another episode of Photography Tips and Reviews. In today's episode, I am going to talk about a really high-tech piece of equipment. Yep, the, the lens hood. Now, lens hoods primarily have one job. Uh, they are designed to do one job, and that is to keep the, the sunlight from striking the front element of your lens, thereby decreasing uh, aberrations that could affect your image quality. So, um, but they also have a secondary purpose, and that is they actually protect that front element. Now, about front element protection, I'm kind of kind of going to go off on a tangent here. Uh, there is a, a debate in the photography community uh, that, that um, where you got UV filters on one hand protecting the front element and lens hoods on the other hand protecting the front element. Well, I'm in both schools. I, I, I will use a UV filter if I can get a good one uh, at the right price, uh, but otherwise I'm perfectly content with just using a lens hood for my protection. Um, UV filters can be can get expensive once you once you get past 58 um, millimeters on the diameter or if you're a Nikon shooter 52 millimeters. Uh, so, you know, when you start getting up around 67 millimeters, 77 millimeters, or 82 millimeters and above, then they, get, they can get really expensive, or at least they, they get better glass. Uh, the other reason why a lot of photographers don't want to use a, a UV filter is because it does introduce another piece of glass to your lens, and if you can shoot without adding that other piece of glass, then you don't introduce the possibility of image degradation. Um, so, but this video is not about the UV filters, it's about the lens hoods. So, as you can see, there are basically two types of lens hoods. Uh, now this type is known as a flower type lens hood, and this one is a cup type. Um, both of them pretty much do the same job. In fact, you can get uh, flower type um, lens hoods that are much deeper than this one, thereby giving you pretty much the same benefit that you get here. Um, so, so another benefit of using the using the lens hood is, and some photographers may, may not consider this a benefit, so I'm actually gonna mention this twice, is that it could make your camera rig look more impressive, thereby giving you a little bit more credibility if you're shooting um, people. Um, if you're doing portrait work, and if you're doing portrait work for hire, then it could really give you, you know, just that much more credibility. Um, now, the downsides of lens hoods is just the opposite of what I just said about credibility. Uh, if you got subjects who are extremely camera shy, then a lens hood could make your camera rig look just that much more intimidating and thereby make it a tad harder to get the, the, the responses that you want from your subjects. Um, for me, one of the biggest downsides of using the lens hood is just the act of, of packing it and mounting it on the camera. Now, what I tend to do to carry my lens hoods is I turn them upside down, and let me get this one turned upside down. Um, throw on my lens cap, and go ahead and pack it up so I can give you an idea of what I'm illustrating. 
So I've got my, my bag, the Regard Thunderhead 75. I do have a video on this bag if you're interested. Um, but uh, basically, I made my compartments large enough so that I can stick my lens in it with the hood on it. And that way I can travel with my lens hoods already intact. Okay. So the, um, the final downside of using a lens hood and I kind of mentioned this a little earlier, is just the act of mounting it to your, to your camera. You know, it don't take but a second to mount it, um, but just that, that extra step uh, sometimes add extra work to your photography. Um, but we all have to do what we have to do to get the images that we have to get. Okay, <laughs> so anyway guys, um, one last thing I, 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 I want to regress and go back to one last thing that I want to mention about uh, lens hood versus UV filters. Um, some people make the claim that, um, that UV filters will protect your lens uh, and I've seen some videos where they actually mount a, a UV filter uh, to something and drop something in it to see where the break point for that UV filter is. Um, my thoughts is if I'm, if I'm subjecting my lens to that much pressure, then you know, it's all on me. I'm not being um, as studious with my lens as I should be. Um, but the purpose of a UV filter or a lens hood is not to keep that front element from being broken, but to keep the coatings on that front element from, from becoming scratched or damaged. Because most lenses do have several multi-layer coatings to help control those aberrations. So I just wanted to throw that in now uh, before I close this video. I'm glad you guys stuck around to watch. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I use that as my barometer to tell how well I'm presenting this information. And why not take a moment to subscribe, become part of this photography community. And if you have any questions or comments on lens hoods, leave them below, I read them all. Remember, if you're gonna shoot anybody today, shoot them with a cannon or a camera of your choice. And remember guys, keep shooting no matter what.